morning shed routine let's get into it what we know for sure is that you are absolutely not supposed to follow every trend that you see on this app or otherwise i've been accused of doing the morning shed completely wrong so here's my second attempt at things that i don't think people are really doing we're gonna start it off with a round of applause because if there's one thing the beauty industry will never do is run out of money people are out here layering up products like a glow-in-the-dark piñata only to peel them off in the morning like they're fresh out of hibernation. I don't know. But is it surprising at this point what people do for beauty? Especially if you've been around since the very first Beauty at Any Cost series, you should not be surprised at what people do. Oh no! How did we end up with morning sheds? That sounds so disgusting it popped up on my tiktok and i was like are we snakes are we lizards why are we shedding in the morning the only thing that sheds happens not to all women because it ain't me either seven days out of the month and um that's about the only thing that i know of but apparently i was wrong because women are now shedding themselves every day in the morning or at least every other day as far as they're giving us the content and there is a lot of them the influencers of tiktok have figured why stop at just a nightly moisturizer when you can get next level dewy Ooh. they're adding wrinkle patches mouthpieces lip masks dozens of products maybe not dozen but a lot of product all for the glass skin effect y'all remember the glass skin effect it was trending a while ago i don't even think i talked about the glass did i talk about the glass skin maybe i did talk about the glass skin i feel like some people that were doing the glass skin trend uh we're pretty much covering up broken glass with a band-aid if you know you know one thing though if we were to be completely honest watching these ladies shed in the morning oh my days that just made my stomach crawl watching them do this is extremely fun it's actually funny and if you get mad watching this like i've said before go outside kiss the butterflies i haven't seen a butterfly in a while but enjoy the sun enjoy the gloom, whatever season you're in right now, whether emotionally or outside, just enjoy it as best as you can, at least. Now to truly appreciate the morning shed, we've got to go through the full lineup of the beauty battle gear that these TikTokers are sleeping in and listen, it is intense. First we have the overnight sheet mask. Normally, those are supposed to be used for 15 or 20 minutes to hydrate the skin, but they've taken it up just a little notch and they're sleeping with them at night. Spoiler alert, I hate to be the barrier of bad news, but that may be doing more harm than good because it may end up drying out your skin. So it's actually doing the opposite. And then you're going to wake up, put a cleanser, put a toner, put a this, put a that while you're damaging your skin. And you see how the beauty industry will never run out of money? Second thing I've noticed is the anti-wrinkle patches that they're putting. These are the silicone patches that basically freeze parts of your face. And the goal is to keep your skin from creasing while you sleep. You have to be a back sleeper for this trend. There's just no way. Some people even put the mouth tape thinking it's going to slim their jawline by reducing their mouth breathing induced puffiness. No shade, no hate, but I am betting you that actually getting oxygen is a bit more important than um slimming out your jaw but that's just me fourth is the under eye gels these babies are supposed to fight puffiness and reduce dark circles while you sleep and the thing is keeping them on all night isn't always the best idea similar to the girls that are walking out in the streets with these under eyes what are y'all doing how does it stay on who came up with this and last but not least silk bonnets and heatless curling wraps credit where it's due some things are just practical i can never argue with something that is practical silk bonnets silk pillows reduces friction prevents frizz heatless curlers curl your hair if you are able to curl your hair overnight and wake up and be fresh and ready to go do that but all the other things that the directions specifically say not to leave in for more than 30 minutes at the most what are we doing morning shed yes, routine the let's get skin. into it morning shed Hair is crazy is crazy let's take the mask off skin is looking good okay, let's do the hair this part is so satisfying we're just gonna pull it up okay we got it that is satisfying 
Ugh. She's cute. Let's do our lips now. This part is always so satisfying. Did you sleep with that? Ooh. The oh lip stain? God. I like to take a baby wipe and blend out this liner. Just okay. a little bit so it's not as harsh. That would irritate Let's my add some lips. lip mask. That, I mean, if that's and the look done. you're going How do we like for. This look? I fear I might be spending too much time on this app. You don't say. First, it was the mouth tape, but in with the, the overnight blow dry. The, these are new. These little eye masks. They're not supposed to be there that long. And this jaw strap. Mm -mm. <laughs> she can't even take herself seriously. <laughs> not the light. <laughs> oh my days. Man. <laughs> okay. This is pretty good. It is. What we know for sure mm -hmm. is that you are absolutely not supposed to follow every trend that you see on this app or yeah. otherwise. Am I to believe that you girls are quite literally taping your mouths shut mm -hmm. upon your slumber? Mm -hmm. As well ah. as taping your face, binding your face together? <laughs> slumber the is crazy. The sleep apnea girls. That ain't for you. Yeah. That one ain't for you, friend. Mm-hmm. Don't do that one, okay? We we need you to wake up in the morning. So that means we don't need you to tape your mouth shut and we definitely don't need you to bind your face together. Yeah. You need to be able to breathe at all costs. If it's through your nose or your mouth or whatever, <laughs> let's just go ahead and go get a, 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 a sleep study done. Yeah. That's what I need you to do. Yeah. But don't put that tape over your mouth. <laughs> now the mocktails, that was it. I Mom like tells? that one. That was a good one. Get you a good six to eight hours, maybe even 10 if you need it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get you a good night's nice sleep with tales. that little mocktail that they was making up on here. But to, to, to close your mouth, bind your mouth intentionally, don't do that. I've been accused of doing the morning shed completely wrong. So here's my second attempt at things I don't think people are really Just doing. Just layer up. Apparently people are not using duct tape to tape their mouth. Girl. So I did buy mouth tape, but that's the last thing I'm going to put on. You guys also suggested trying these reusable frownies. Ta-da! For the hair, I was told to try a loose headband. I'm not really sure how I'm going to wrap my hair around this. So here's the plan I've came up mm -hmm. with. I'm going to cut this. Okay. And we're going to wrap oh, it around this. I already feel like this is going to work better than the last time because the last time my hair was dry. Next, the I silk like bonnet. I still look like a Hair. Chef, but this is like 10 times more comfortable with the, the beauty headband cut. So for the frownies, I'm supposed to add Bonnet my favorite cute. serum to the area. I think I'm going to go with the bubble soothing face oil. It's honestly really sticky. I wonder if it's going to stay sticky for multiple uses. Hopefully this works. I don't want to pay for Botox. But if people are really sleeping with this on every night, it's got to be doing something, right? Okay, we got no. the, the matching reusable under eye mask. Which also come in their cute little tin. I hope these work because these are actually really cute. But I honestly thought the point of it was so that I couldn't move my face. But like you can see, this is already coming up. Okay, these are sticky. I literally post this for 4 million people to see, but I don't know Where's if I'll go over his house in those. I look like the grandmother in Little Red Riding Hood. Why is this what I picture she would look like? Mouth tape, laying with your significant other, and you're like, oh, I'm gonna put on my mouth tape now so we can't we can't talk anymore. <laughs> Forehead thing, take two. This is gonna okay. dry out my lips, so I have this two pouty from Maylee's. It's a clinically proven lip pumping mask. So I'm gonna apply this and leave it on overnight with the mouth tape on. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. So does the morning show shedding routine actually live up to the hype. Long story short, according to dermatologist, not at all. Most sheet masks work best 20 minutes, like I've said, because after that they start literally sucking out moisture. Meanwhile, anti-wrinkle patches are temporary at best. That's not even recommended if you need to breathe through your mouth during the night. Plus the amount of stuff on your face can actually block pores cause irritation and disrupt your skin's natural balance, meaning your skin could end up looking tired even if you're well rested. You see how that doesn't help your skin at all? Now, it is entertaining, like I've said, but at what cost? At our entertainment? If that's the case, then thank you. If anything, all this gives you is a flex on the internet telling people that your skin game is on point and you figure out that this is doing more harm than good, then you realize that it's not really a flex. And after I did some research on, honestly, it wasn't that much research to see through the BS, but the little that I did do, I could tell that the um, it's just for looks. It's just for show. 
The only people that are struggling are y'all that we're looking at because over here, we're just getting entertainment. We're thinking it's funny and we're chilling. And then the commitment to consumerism is insane. And honestly, it's gonna get my respect, but let's not kid ourselves. For most of us, a basic cleanser, a solid moisturizer and some sunscreen during the day probably even at night, whatever the case is, that's all you need. Not to mention, you could probably save enough cash to buy, you know, like groceries instead of wrinkle patches. If you have the funds, go for it. But how many sheet masks, eye patches, mouth tapes are you gonna go through before you realize that you're playing nobody but yourself? And don't you ever get it twisted. There is nothing wrong with pampering yourself, but let's remember that beauty doesn't have to come with sleep torture devices. Y'all can just sleep. And for those who keep it simple, you might be onto something. A fewer products means fewer risk of waking up with red patches of product residue on your pillowcase. We can all admit at least one thing when it comes to these shedders. We would quite literally be lost without the commitment of these beauty influencers. Without them, we wouldn't have the fun, we wouldn't have the fails or the guilty pleasure of watching them peel off 12, 16, 20, okay, I'm exaggerating. Who knows though? Who knows what tomorrow brings when it comes to the beauty industry? Hey guys, come take apart my morning shed with me. That was some of the best sleep I've ever gotten in my life. First, we're gonna take off the bonnet. Then we got the trim strap. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take that off. <sighs> Got these iPads for, of course, aging. And you can't forget the mouth tape. 